Welcome back, everyone, to the slimiest place on Earth. The loveliest ranch of all time, the Jacksepticeye Ranch in Slime Rancher. I went ahead and I did a little bit of farming since the last time, and I built a second drone. Also, idiot me, um, I didn't, I didn't pick plort collectors. So, I had rad plorts and then I had it collecting just rad plorts from the corrals, and that's why it went to sleep. And I already know, I've, I've recorded this one before the other one went up, and I already know that the comments are full of corrections, so... Fear not, comments! I learned my lesson. Ugh. And this one is also picking up veggies. So this one is picking up veggies and bringing it to... Uh, auto feeders, and then this one is picking up rad plorts and bringing it straight- Just like it's doing right now, I'm bringing it straight to market. I also went away- uh, I kind of don't want... Can I remove... Carrots from this? Remove crops. And now you should be just growing these. Oh wait, no! It's always growing these. That's why they're called odd onions. Because odd onions are odd. So that every second one, every odd number of them, will be an onion. Got it. Now I remember. Um, where is my other guy? Oh wait, you're just hanging out here. Okay, so please tell me you're just bringing the food to this one. Look at him go! He's so cute! He's going to collect food. I'm assuming these ones. I don't know what he's actually doing. Oh, yes! It's so nice to have him deposit money all the time. I'm gonna be so rich! Um... See, now comes the problem that I didn't centralize. Yeah, there you go. Holy God. What I really need is somebody doing something out here. But I also need a... Uh, do I have one of those? Let me see. Uh, warp tech. A market link. Yes! Boom! So now I can bring a drone in here. I can have the drone pick up. You guys eat meat, right? Yes. Can have him pick up meat. And bring it to these lads. Well, I guess. Because I can't get him to collect two types of plorts. Which is becoming a problem because each of my corrals have two types of plorts in them. But the beauty of this. If I can get two types of drones then. But he's still only bringing one type of plorts. By right, I'd need three drones per corral. So I'd need a drone picking up the food and bringing it in. And then I'd need two drones picking up two different types of plorts and then depositing it, depositing it in here. But that's a lot. <laughs> Look at him go! So you guys eat veggies, you guys eat veggies and meat, and you guys eat veggies. So everyone here eats veggies. This is where it's starting to become really important now as well, because if you don't have your... plorts, if- or if you don't have your corrals efficient, as in, I have one guy here bringing veggies to all of them, but if you- if your thing can't- if your guys can't accept veggies, then he might be putting veggies in one like here, where these guys eat veggies and meat. So they're going to be shiting out crappy plorts now, because they're only getting carrots. And carrots are a really crap form of food for anything that eats veggies. Because you want a food that creates two plorts per meal. Um, but I also got some honey plorts, or honey slimes. Because honey slimes are really important to creating drones. Wild honey and everything is something really important too. But right now, honey plorts is kind of what I'm lacking the most. So, can I make another one? Ah, I need wild honey. Dang it. So, I need some more apiaries. So, I need pink plorts. It's just a never ending stack. It's a never ending stack of problems. Uh, I have an extra rustro here. You guys can eat him. Eat him. Even though you're all having meat right now, but... I'm changing up your diet, folks! 
I might have to change some of you guys. The apiaries that I have in the other section should also be done by now. So let me deposit these pinks. And let me see what I also need for... What else did I say I needed? Um, warp tech. I need some market links. What do I need for market links? Okay, I can actually make a market link right now. Let's go do that. Put a market link in down here. Every section should also have a refinery link, I guess. But, I mean... Okay, we'll make you centralized. Uh, warp tech, market link. Which also helps me right now, because now I can just deposit these. You see what I'm doing? Everything is just stacking on top of each other. It's gonna take me... A multitudinous amount of hours still. To get what I need out of this game. But I should have... I have all the food I need, and I have all the ports that I need. The only hiccup... The only bottleneck for my system right now is getting honey. Yay, they're done! Alright. Buzzwax, hexacombs, perfect. Mm, your stuff isn't as necessary. I'm sure it's necessary for something, but the types of things that I'm making, it's not really that necessary for. Six wild honeys, damn! That's very close to being able to build two more drones. Maybe Victor's stuff can help me. Maybe Victor's technology, because he seems to be more tech savvy. Maybe his stuff can help me build better versions of things, like like an advanced apiary. Wait, I already have an advanced apiary. A mega advanced apiary. Like it's just something that's getting honey all the time, because that would be really handy. Uh, a drone. Fabricate. Yeah, I need four honey and more honey ports, whatever. Honey, I just need pinks for these. All right. Let's go down to thingy for a second. Okay, no, I don't need to know about this. Do you have- do you like sell things? Bye. Okay, the least I can do here is set up a drone. Set up another drone here. God, these drones are such a lifesaver. What do I want these drones to do? Maybe take some pink plorts. So your target is plorts. Oh wait, I could just get them to do all plorts! Game changer! Plorts from plort collectors, and then market link. Oh my god, I should have- I should have all my drones doing that. Oh, thank the maker! Thank the Allfather! I thought it had to be a specific plort. Uh, plorts from plort collectors, and plort market. Oh, so much better! Can you, like, wake up- Oh, they go to sleep in their little pods. Is it because you're out of energy? Oh yeah, this thing depletes. Do I just wait, or do you actually need- Say goodbye to your odd onions, boys! The- the main reason I did that is so we don't have carrots anymore. I don't want... them to be putting carrots into this, because carrots are useless to me. In this late game of Slime Rancher, carrots are crap. I like to call them crappets. Oh, it's water! Oh, you guys need water! Gotcha! Okay, so it's not completely fully automated. At least it's just one blob. Oh, man. Look at how much money I have. I have literally no use for this money anymore. But, it's fun to have it. So at least I just need to, like, splash once and it's completely filled. Just realized that this guy's taking up all the plorts and bringing them to the market but I need the pinks pinks are essential to me because I need them to go to my refinery so what I'm gonna do is mix my little purplies 
with some of these bad boys. Okay, eat, eat them. Eat, eat it. There you go. So now we have a bunch of pinks. So these guys eat everything, which is fantastic for me. But you're also going to poop out pinks and honeys. Which are going to become vital to me for creating the next evolution. Gimme, dem, phosphor, quartz. Yes! Everything's looking up, guys. Everything's looking good. Bloop. There you go. Just a little sprinkle for you. Just to get you back up on top. I have 43,000. At some point, Slime Rancher just kind of turns into, like, stocks and capitalism. <laughs> Because you just have to keep building, keep building, and you make- you spend more to make more. Put in all of that, and then get another apiary. Boom! And then after that, I should just be able to get wild honey, and then that'll be enough. Because I built a drill last time, but... Let's face it, I didn't need a drill. I put the drill down, and I thought, oh, I'm a big man. I'm a big man with a big drill, and I can just do whatever I want, but we didn't need a drill. I'm just gonna show you guys like a little speedrunner's tactic, a little speed route to get to the uh, good zones for the, you know, for the honey. I don't know what I'm doing. I got honey from here before because there was honey slimes around, so I'm just hoping that it's same rules apply. Boom. Now we wait 12 minutes. Or as I like to call it, go home, go to bed, wake back up, and make money. Look at these happy little dancies. Okay, got three wild honey out of that, thank god. I thought you weren't gonna pro provide me with anything good. Now the best part about this is that I can put it all in my inventory all at once. Weak! Weak! That was a crap showing! Damn it! That was not a lot. Nine honey? I mean, nine honey's great. I also need lots of hexacombs. So getting buzz wax is also a pain in my dingle. Also, if any of you are just starting out playing this game, if this is the first time you're seeing Slime Rancher, is this kind of return to it? First of all, there's plenty of other videos of Slime Rancher to go watch. Go watch them. It's a delightful series. It's one of my favorite series that I've done on the channel. Uh, there's plenty of videos to occupy your time, not just these new ones. But if you're starting off the game for the first time, you're in for one hell of a painful experience to start off. Well, not painful, it's just... It's fun to learn, but it just takes so long. Like, the stuff that I'm doing now, and the, the speed at which I'm able to get this amount of money, is kind of obnoxious. When you start off the game, it just takes you so long, but I guess... At the start of the game, you also don't have any of the upgrades. Which again, is another pain in the ass, because your... Your sprint runs out really quickly, you don't even have a jetpack. But it's fun to learn and explore. I adore this game, so I hope more people pick it up and play it. Some of these... Slimes that I have... Like the Saber Rads... And these guys, I feel like I don't really need them. I feel like I kind of got them because I was trying to make... Slimes that got me the most amount of money. Can I get anything else in here? No. But they're they're not very useful. Like those the slimes and the plorts that they produce don't really aid me in making anything progress. Though at the same time, I don't really know what I would be progressing anymore. Because I'm getting a lot of money, but I literally have no use for it. There's nothing else to buy. <laughs> but you right here. Sweet. So I can pick them up and move them if I ever want to. So target, veggies, source, gardens, destination, auto feeders. Cool. So by what I mean is that I, I think those are the only two I can have in here now, so... I can't build like another one and have it do stuff for these guys. I could start moving some slimes around. I could put all the pink guys next to each other out here. And then... That would be really handy, because all the pink slimes in, and then I could put drones in here to just collect pink slimes and bring them to the refinery. Because the refinery's right in here. Although, or does it have to be a refinery link? I don't think there was an option for just the refinery. 
And then that would be really handy, because then I can have the other guy just feed and take plorts and put them in the, the money hole. Because right now I have to pick what plorts he has to collect. All right, my happy little dancy feet. What have you got for me? Royal jelly. Nice. And three wild honeys. Nice. Oh, you go, guys go a third time. Whoa, I thought it was only twice. There you go. Oh, you had it all this time. Wait, how many did I need? It was six, right? So I'll put in one. I should be able to make another drone after this. I think. If I did the math right in my head. Which I've, I've likely very much not. I've likely definitely not done the math right in my head. But if I have, then... I've done a simple thing, really, and don't really deserve praise for it, but I'm going to praise myself, internally. Because sometimes you got to do that as well. Actually, I should build a warp station directly to here. Oh, can I pick up warp stations? That's something that I should be able to look into. Because I can pick up the drones if I want to move them around. Okay, drone? It? Yeah, I did do the math right. Um, okay, I need one honey port. Really? One? Oh, look. One. <laughs> I should have just picked up everything while I was there, but I'm trying to prove a point. Yes. Nice. Oh, this is all coming together. Swimingly. Oh! Treasure Cracker Mark Three allows you to bypass the locks and... Why did I suddenly just get that? I don't know, but I'm happy about it. That means I can go back and get all the other treasures. Ooh! Boom! Royal Jelly is super helpful there. Okay, I'm going to build a drone here. And I'm going to build a drone here. So this one is going to collect plorts. Source plort collectors and put them in the refinery. Sweet! Yes! And then you're gonna target. Oh. Yeah, I should change some of this. These guys, I think I'm gonna get rid of. I don't. Do I need fire stuff for anything? I really don't think I need fire plorts. Sorry, boys! I want to put them somewhere where they won't do any harm, but I think they'll just burn everything around here, so... Don't- don't look. Don't look. Look away. If kids are watching the screen right now, look away! You don't need to see this! The good news is that... Nothing actually dies in Slime Rancher. None of the slimes actually die. It's part of the lore that they just get teleported to somewhere else. They just go to sleep, and then they get teleported elsewhere. I need some of these. Now I'm gonna build... this... garden. Yes. And I'm gonna buy... everything for it. See? This is why I make the money. I'm putting mint mangoes in here, because you guys eat fruit and meat. You guys eat meat and veggie, but I'm probably gonna be moving you soon. Um... And then I can end up feeding you guys much, much more. And then I'll move my pink boys out. This is wonderful. I love this. All right, so you target fruit source in gardens and then put it in auto feeders. And go bango! And away you go. Now I begin the long process of moving each individual little pink to his new home. Come along. There you go. There you go. There. There you go. There, little pet. And there. Perfect. Now you should all be able to eat the same things. See if we can move this. <sighs> Damn it. I can only demolish it. Why? I want to be able to move it. I can move the other things. That's kind of frustrating. 
Because I could have just moved it right out next to this. And then sped up the entire process. And become the Jeff Bezos of Slime Rancher. Alright, my little babies, what have you got for me? Nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, I know what you're thinking, but Sean, I'm sad. The big scary man took the little boys away. Don't you freaking worry there. I have new ones that are going to work just as hard. Run, chickens. The revolution is here. Okay, not as much wild honey as I would like. But it's fine. It's fine. It's all a process. We'll get there. I had stuff for a refinery. I had a refinery link. I should have just built that there. Instead of coming all the way back. Damn it. I'm one off from being able to make another one again. Again. Thwarted again. I don't really need quantum ports anymore. <laughs> I seem to have quite a substantial amount of them. Why are you not doing anything? Oh, because this thing isn't actually yielding anything. Hey! One of the quantums got in here and ate all my chickens! God damn it! Okay, well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna destroy the chickens. Oh, I can put in high walls? Well, it's too freaking bad. I'm planting more mint mangoes! You can't stop me! Not now, not ever. These- these things grow slow, though. Wait, can you eat veggies? No, fruit and meat. If it was veggies and meat, then I could just put more Oka Okas in there, and everything would be much faster. Whoa! I got started in a different area this time. Oh! What are you for? Ooh, retro slimes! Okay, I started in a completely different area this time. Ah, got him! Got him! Oh, I like them as blue instead! The other ones just look too much like regular pink slimes. Now they have this cool little retro look! Cute little babies! Come here! Come here, you scallywag! Come here! Okay, you're normal. Okay, you're normal. <gasps> Jacques! He was the scary one! Well, not scary, but he was the secret one! I have 54! That's a pretty good haul! But the tires are deep in effect right now! Oh, don't eat me! Don't eat me! Ow, God! I lost some. I lost some of my babies! I don't want to leave my babies behind! I'm sorry, babies! Okay, take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy and go! Go, go, go! Okay, there's the end. There's the end. Good, good, good. Okay, I only lost one. Only losing one is fine. If you went on a school trip as a teacher and you only lost one child, you'd be doing very well. Yeah! Oh, wait! What's happening? Hello again, Beatrix. I am currently in the middle of an important work and require focus for the next several minutes. Therefore, I have contracted out of the phase one reward distribution to a scientific colleague of mine. Connecting you now. That's just a bunch of pink slimes in a jacket. Chicken? Chicken! Chicken! Now then, I trust that my colleague compensated you well. Hmm. No, I've never actually met him in person. But that's not unusual for me. You see, I generally run the simulations for everything I can in my life, including relationships with others. You might think this is perhaps too clinical of an approach, but I can assure you it saves a significant amount of time. And time is so valuable, and so very finite. It is the singular cruelty of nature. So why waste a second of it building a friendship that ends, or a romantic interest that leaves you cold, wasteful? Wow, Victor, you sound fun at parties. So I simulate it all and determine where it is likely to lead. It is all very precise, and allows me to operate on a timeline that is most optimal. But clearly, there are still kinks to work out as the simulation I ran 
of you assisting me had completing phase one much later than the actual result. How odd. I'll add fixing this issue to my agenda. In the meantime, let's begin phase two of the project. The bug reports you've submitted so far are fascinating. Within the limits of the slimulation, glitch slimes appear to be very much real. I need to know more. Gather more bug reports and I'll grant you access to blueprints for my custom advanced drones. <coughs> yeah! They're doubly effective at ranch work. Efficiency. Sorry, I often forget about goodbyes. Um, goodbye for now. Dude, yes! I need to get 360 of them. Sweet lord. Also, I realize that these are lockers. Because you're not allowed to enter the slimulation with anything in your vacuum. Uh, okay. My god. Tidy yourselves up, lads! This place is a mess! You can go away as well. For last finishing touches of the day... Uh, should I put it here or... I feel like the plorts down here are harder to collect. And there's not really that much more of them. A lot of prickly pears down here though. Those are good. I kind of just end up forgetting about you guys down here. And I'm sorry for that, but... You don't really do a whole lot. And I can't put you near anybody else because you end up blowing them all up. Why is this thing farting out more pears than anything mankind has ever seen before? It just got rid of all of them. Good lord. Alright, this place is a mess. This is a place is a mess best forgotten. Well, if I can actually put a couple of links down here. That might work, but I don't have any, like... I have a refinery link, and let's... Ouch! Let's put a little drone boy in here. And now the drone boy is going to collect plorts from the plort collectors, and he's going to put it in the refinery link. I have some of them making me money, and then I have some of them... making me have more stuff. Yes. Now, if only I could have a third drone bringing water to all the other drones. But that's basically the equivalent. That's the same energy as having a vacuum cleaner to clean your vacuum cleaner. <laughs> we just need to check up on them every now and then and fill them all full of water and then we'll be fine. Like that. Everybody's happy. Everyone's making money and everybody's doing good. Alrighty! Well, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Day 69! Totally meant to do it. The next episode, I'll end the video on day 420. Um, but I'm really getting to like this. I like a lot of the new systems that they've brought into the game. All of this automation that's in the game now was badly needed a long time ago. So I'm so glad that they're doing that now. It, it makes it a lot more interesting. Again, I don't have anything to buy. Ooh. I didn't know I had to buy that. Oh, great. Well, I do have stuff to buy then. My money went to great use, and I do have some more blueprints and stuff that I can buy, but otherwise my money seems kind of useless. But, it's better to be capitalist and invest in all my stocks and be completely rich and never spend a dime of it and never share it with anybody else than to be struggling. <laughs> Capitalism simulator! You heard it here, folks. Prick a pear! Not me, because they'll hurt my mouth. <laughs>